Good afternoon, fam. I hope you all can uh, see me or whatever, but sorry to come to you on such short, short notice. But y'all, I have some news to tell y'all that's going on in Mississippi right now as we speak, okay? So this may affect some of our uh, deliveries or whatever, but right now, as we speak, ISIS is raiding all the chicken plants across Mississippi. So cop, uh, cook, cook foods where we pick up and deliver, where we pick up at, out of Morton, Mississippi, they got raided. Uh, Peco Foods in Morton, uh, Canton, Mississippi got raided. So they have uh, picked up over 680 arrests. Okay, this is all happening to day as we speak so if y'all having loads that are due to be picked up from these plants you may not be able to get your loads or book your loads because they done detained and arrested um over 680 uh immigrants okay immigrants from uh the fbi is out there today um, everybody is out there today, okay? They got all different types of law enforcement out there in Canton, Mississippi. They out there in Morton, Mississippi. They going across all Mississippi, checking all the chicken plants in Mississippi, okay? So far, 680 immigrants have been arrested. They also are, um, they had to get them out on school buses. So they took school buses out there to pick them up. They are currently being detained. Give me one second, y'all. I'm going to read the story. It just broke about 30 minutes ago, okay? So it says right now, more in Mississippi. Uh, y'all can go and look at this at WREG.com. It says, more in Mississippi, U.S. immigration officials raided several Mississippi food processing plants on uh, today as signal as early this morning. They are doing a mass strike, okay? They doing a mass, they hitting everybody all at one time, all right? It is the largest ISIS raids uh, in a decade. They came to Mississippi. This is the largest ISIS raid that they've done in a whole decade, okay? Employees at the Cook Foods have filled three buses, okay? Um, two buses for men, one bus is for women. The plant in Morton, 40, uh, 40 miles east of Jackson, they are being taken to a military hangar to be processed for immigration violations, okay? About 70 friends and family, a tearful 13-year-old boy. Um, the families was out there watching their moms, their dads, everybody having to be on the bus going to... Um, they are taking them to... Give me one second. Now, Cook Foods have not made a statement yet, okay? Cook Foods, their original location or their home um, office is based out of Park Ridge, Illinois. Cook Foods is one of the largest poultry producing in the U.S. They employ about 13,000 people, okay? Um, The company has operations in Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Illinois, Ohio, Tennessee as well. Um, and they are hitting their companies today, okay? They hitting them and they hitting Peco Foods today. They are loading up all the immigrants, taking them, detaining them to Fort somewhere in Mississippi. Give me one second, I'll tell you where they're taking them. If you want to follow this story, you can go to WLOX News um, or WREG News. If you're from Mississippi, follow it on uh, WLOX News. They will have a press conference this afternoon letting everybody know what's going on. But right now, they are raid they've been raiding them all day. They've been showing up with bus buses to take them off to a camp. Y'all, they are putting them at give me one second. They are fingerprinting them. Um, let's see. They go on the camp the, uh, from Canton and the trailer park behind there is empty. 
they done came through and got 680 people 680 people so moms dads everybody done got scooped up okay um I will put a video on here as well uh, showing them at the location in uh, Canton, Mississippi, up there by Jackson. Y'all know where the Petco at? So I'm just saying, if y'all uh, pick up loaves there every day, y'all might not be picking up some chicken for a while, okay? This could affect, affect, this could affect the um, processing plants, okay? This could affect deliveries. If you pick up 680 employees from the chicken plant and detain them there's going to be a whole lot of delays okay there are people that's not going to get that their orders and that's going to slow a whole lot of trucks down okay so the reason why i'm telling you this is to beware of mississippi chicken plants you may not be able to get a load from there for a while okay um right now i just rolled through there no trucks in the docks are they still out there lisa um ice ice stands for homeland security investigation uh they got home s-a-s-i homeland security investigation they got immigration and custom enforcement out there they got the u.s attorney's office out there uh for the uh, southern district of mississippi they have um let me see they did say where they was putting the people at And they will not be released until they go in front of a judge, a federal judge. They, in order to determine if they will be deported or not, they will have to go in front of a judge. So my thing is, what is going to happen to Cook for hiring all these elite, if they are, okay, if they are illegal aliens, uh, immigrants, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say aliens, but if yeah didn't pick up you had a load eddie at uh did you have a load at martin i mean at cook foods today didn't pick up the load so uh let me see yes so how is this gonna affect the other thirteen thousand? they are raiding all their chicken plants so isis homeland security is coming through states right now going through the chicken plants picking up all the immigrants all immigrants they are detaining them and they are taking them to a army base i think it's an army base they're taking them to but if you want to read the story please go to uh either wreg.com they have a story there and also wlox tv 13 okay go there and see if you can see i'm trying to see they all of the details are going to be interviewed they're going to be fingerprinted they're going to be photographed and they are going to uh and they are going to be transported to an ice facility in jenna louisiana okay they're going to be transported to a whole nother state so there's not going to be 600 people working tomorrow all right they're not going to be 600 and almost 700 people is out of a job just like that all right so how does this affect you as a driver you may not want to schedule or have loads at cook because it don't look like they're going to be able to get them loads out okay that is going to affect the trucking industry cook is one of the largest food poultry companies okay mississippi is a big um have big plants there trucks go in there all the time to pick up loads deliver all the time i mean with klm i went there at least once a week that's where i got my loads from so if they have um if they have uh yeah so right now you know if you need a job and you in mississippi you probably get hired today okay um but yeah 680 680 people are being bust out of mississippi from the cook and the peco food poultry plants these are the chicken processing plants and they are um Peco employee parking lot is empty. Everybody probably getting out of town right about now. 
Um, Peco employee parking lot is empty. Docks are empty too. Okay, this happened spur of the moment. Nobody knew nothing about it. And this is not going to be the first thing. So, you know, people wanted uh, Trump to take drastic measures after these last couple of shootings. And uh, Hane, today he was not playing. He just sent out everybody to come. I don't know why he picked Mississippi. But he picked Mississippi, come to the all the chicken plants, and they are um, went through them, and they done got over. They don't swooped up over seven hundred people, almost seven hundred people. Okay, so this is gonna affect you as far as loads. This is gonna affect you as far as picking up loads, delivering loads. Um, it's going to affect, I guess, the brokers. It's going to affect everybody in the trucking industry. Now, what will happen with Cook, we don't know. We got to sit and wait and see what they're going to do. If what happens when you get caught hiring, um, what happens when you get caught hiring illegal immigrants at your facility? So... That is yet to be determined. 680. There's going to be, this is going to cause a major problem, y'all. This is, you just don't swoop up 700 people at a factory and nothing happens, okay? Nothing happens. So either these people are going to be, if they can prove that they are legal immigrants, then they will be returned to back to their home. I mean, you know, back to Morton or um to care in or whatever the case may be but if they cannot prove that they are uh legal uh immigrants and they are supposed to be in the united states and they are supposed to be working um then they will all be deported and the thing that we gotta wait and see now y'all is if um homeland security is rolling to forest mississippi oh my god that's tyson Forest Mississippi is Tyson chicken plant. They're going to all the chicken plants. They don't care who own them. They going to Cook. They going to Peco, and they going to Tyson. Homeless. They still rolling in Forest Mississippi. Forest Mississippi, Eddie is uh, Tyson, ain't it? They at the Tyson plant. I have a friend who was scheduled to pick up yesterday at 3 p.m. He left this morning mentioning a bunch of police presence in the town at 6 a.m. They got started early. He didn't know what was going on, but we know now. Yeah, they got started early. They coming to Arkansas, too? Oh, they about to have a national raid. They about to have a national raid, y'all. They done started in Mississippi. Why they pick Mississippi first? Why they didn't go to Texas? Why they pick Mississippi first? Oh, cause Mississippi got all the chicken plants. They got the um, they got Peco, they got Tyson, they got Cook, they got all the chicken plants out here in, in, in Mississippi. You got one in Forest. You got one in um. Uh oh, here's another largest ice raids in the decade. U.S. immigration just they just notified that it is the largest. Uh, ice raid in over 10 years and it's not going to stop so listen y'all drivers if I was you Mississippi chicken plants oh got, got a cook plant in forest too and they got a cook plant in forest they going after cook if cook get get accused of hiring all these uh immigrants and they are illegal cook them they gonna get in trouble they gonna you think they'll give them a fine or you think they'll shut the whole their whole operation down what happens i don't know what happens when um if you get caught hiring uh uh illegal immigration it's not like one this is almost 700 people okay and they showing up they was already prepared they showed up with school buses, okay? Um, they showed up with school buses. They get men, they get women. Uh, takes a lot of planning. So I guess this is they have been planning this for a while because not only the FBI showed up, they got Homeland Security, they got uh, the ISIS agent, the immigrant uh, people, they, they there, and they just sweeping through Mississippi right now. 
So this is going to be another company that is going to be in in um in trouble. If all of them, you think they all legal, or you think some of them are illegal? You think they illegal, or you think they legal? Which one y'all think? What's your opinion? You think that Cook hired all legal people to work for them, or you think they was hiring illegal immigrants? What do you think? But they came in without any type of warning throughout Mississippi chicken plants. They are uh, they are going through Mississippi chicken plants, and they must know they must got something because uh, they had fake documents. Oh my goodness, Lord have mercy! Everybody getting deported. Everybody is getting deported. If that's true, Nicole, they, if they have fake documents. Everybody get so they they taking them they swooping them out of here. Let me see. Canton is closed. Peco Canton is closed down. Everyone went home. Peco is closed. So you ain't picking up. You are not picking up any loans at Peco right now. Okay, Peco is closed. Cook and Martin is going to be closed. Okay, y'all just don't realize how much this is going to affect us, especially y'all that like to eat chicken. <laughs> Child, they done, they done close the chicken place down, okay? Uh, let me see. It's all Trump fault. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let me see. What what y'all got to say? I believe that they work visa and green card, but you roll up on people without a warning, you're going to have, you're going to prove after they take you, okay? Yeah, they all being shipped right now. So, they had them at a camp. They had them at a camp here in Mississippi. They took all of them to a camp in Mississippi. But 680 people, y'all, they need more than three buses for 680 people, okay? Um, they either had fake documents or hired illegally. If they hire illegally, y'all, Cook is in trouble. Phoenix is going to be mad. Um, they home office, y'all, is in. Cook ain't came out, Cook. Pecco, none of them have came out as of yet. I don't think Tyson, y'all think, I don't think Tyson will hire illegal immigrants. You think so? Tyson, I don't think they would. I don't know. Glad I said, doesn't Pecco, Pecco sell the Popeyes. You right. It's going, we ain't going to have no chicken. Popeyes, this is going to affect everybody. Y'all better, sh they going to close the chicken plant down. 700 people going to, uh, going to, uh, be detained. And might not come back to work. So now, not only they don't have anybody to process the chicken, they don't have anybody. You're not going to be able to go uh, pick up the uh, no load over there. You're not going to be able to de deliver the load uh, to the place that need chicken. Okay, this will affect y'all. Going to Walmart, that's going to affect y'all. Popeyes, no churches, no nothing. The K Where KFC get their chicken from? But um, all the grocery stores save a lot, you know. I know I used to uh, deliver in Houston, Texas. So everybody going to be delayed on the chicken. Y'all might want to get some fish or something. Okay? Or chicken, the prices of chicken is going to be high. Okay? So stock up right now. If there's some chicken in the store, go ahead and get you an extra uh, case or something. Because uh, it's going to get real serious here in a minute. It's going down way uh, that way for a while because my mom and part then um um all of them all of them hot David say all of them hot KFC is Tyson okay hopefully Tyson is safe Tyson please don't be please don't hide no illegal immigrants Lord have mercy don't you get caught up in the mix um all of them are hired illegal you know I don't know Tyson I don't think they would I don't know but uh, as far as Peco Foods, as far as um, Cook, I know Cook was surprised. You know, I know they were surprised. They got 13,000 employees, y'all. Do you know if a lot of people lose their job? Anybody going to put in an application? Live in Jackson? No. Um, Lord, not the chicken. Yeah, Brandon, it's the chicken, child. You know, I had to come on live because the chicken, chicken filet. Who chicken filet? Uh, who delivered chicken filet, Kevin? I hope it ain't cooked. Because y'all really going to be mad if they messing with the chicken filet. They 
ain't gonna have that. They gonna have an emergency, something. Chicken filet must be, is that Tyson hiring, dri hiring drivers? Well, they don't need no drivers. They're going to need somebody to process the plant. They're going to need somebody to man the plant. 700 people gone, just like that, all in one day. I want 700 people gone, and they ain't stopping. They going across Mississippi, Alabama about to be next. And see, if they going after Cook, drivers will probably lose their job. KLLM got Cook. And KLLM, that's their account. Peco got uh, Peco. Uh, that's K. D these are KLLM accounts, brokers account. Cargill, hopefully Cargill is safe. Yeah, Car that's the beef though. Uh, Jason, ain't Cargill beef? It's just they going through the chicken plants right now, but uh, uh, they going through the chicken plants right now. So you know they ain't made it to the beef plants, but um, y'all might want to try to. Um, Either get your chicken now or um, get some fish or something. You're going to have to get out, lay off the chicken for a while. It's been raided, y'all. Ain't nothing we could do. It's been raided. They come and get the people. They come in to get the people. So, I don't know what to tell you. It's the largest raid in Mississippi. It's the largest raid that ISIS have done in 10 years. You, you know that's for real, Jason. They better not be messing with chicken filet. You know, they... they not chicken filet. Popeyes, churches, Chester, whoever delivering Chester chicken. Now they could get them. Okay, we don't we don't care nothing about that. But leave KFC alone. Leave um, chicken filet alone. Oh, they'll protest if the chicken filet ain't gonna be there. They'll protest. Oh yeah. But um, other than that, y'all, this is crazy. This is happening all today in Mississippi. Wrap your mind around that. Ma wrap your mind around that 700 people just closed a whole entire plant down. Okay? All across Mississippi. So we ain't moving nothing out of Mississippi. We ain't moving no chicken out of Mississippi. Okay? It's gonna, unless you're moving it from Tyson. They ain't say Tyson. They said Cook. And they said... Um, they said this is the world uh, single state work site, the largest single state work site enforcement operation in the nation's history. They ain't playing. They ain't playing. They going to Alabama next. They should have went to Texas first. Why they come to Mississippi first? They should have went to Texas first. You know why they can't? Oh yeah, Brandon. They can have Chester. Whoever producing Chester, uh, Chester's, they can um. Are you loaded, Eddie? Are you out there at Cook now? You loaded from from uh, Cook? You might have to find another place to get loaded from. Chicken, yeah, Chicken Filet is gonna cause a riot. Don't worry about Chicken Filet. Chicken Filet, whoever deliver for Chicken Filet, y'all gonna be good. Okay, they are not gonna mess with them. This is this is this is uh, churches. This is uh, 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 gonna be Popeyes. This is Save a Lot. You know. So y'all gonna have to go get the chicken right now. If y'all got a little time, a little extra money, go stock up on it because prices may be going up. And we don't know when next time you're gonna be able to get some in the stores. I mean, after a couple of days, y'all, the chicken gonna start running out, okay? If you close these many plants, the chicken gonna start running out, okay? So I would hate for you to not have, you know, what you need. So you need to go and maybe stock up right now until we can figure out what's gonna happen. All right, but um, it's going to be some serious consequences to pay. That's right, Candy. You drive for you hope Tyson is okay. Y'all drive Hirschback. KLLM got cooked, baby. KLLM got we got they got trailers and everything over there. So you can't be messing with KLLM. And they got Peco. Peco. When I went to Peco, Peco was uh, a broker load. When I went, I got it off a of broker load. But, um, but yeah, they out there, y'all. Check on your people. Make sure your people ain't, ain't got swooped up now. Nah. Y'all got some friends or whatever work at Peco. Pe Peco, y'all need to, um, y'all need to check on them. Not to answer to the police. Oh, it's show. That's their right, Giovanni. Giovanni said they shouldn't have to answer to the police or show ID. Uh, Giovanni says, and give their name out. 
um, because they have not committed a crime. But if they work it here illegally, ain't that a crime? It is sad because, you know, the thing I think about, what about their kids? They going to swoop up the kids too? So they got, they got to go get the, um, they going to go get the, um, um, children and, and take them with them. You can't leave the kids behind. So they all got to get on the bus. They all got to go to Louisiana. The mom, the dad, the cousins, the kids, everybody being shipped to Louisiana. And they about to make them show ID, uh, records. They're going to have to have all that in place. If not, they're going to be detained and deported. Okay? Detained and deported. So, um... I have James check things out. Yeah, so if y'all around there in the area, you know, drive safe. They got the police out there. Don't be dipping and diving. Um, special agent, but they done had all this set up. You had to have all this set up way ahead of time in order to, um, um, I know Brandon, pray for the chicken filet. I mean, I'm okay with some of it, but, um, no, not, not chicken filet. We gonna have to let somebody work, okay? Not don't don't do that. Don't do that to us, cause now you messing with us, okay? You you messing with the ones that's that's here. Um, facility Mississippi, Bay Springs, Canton. Everybody is fully cooperating with the authorities. Y'all cook. Y'all better get some people down there. Your people getting locked up. Uh, oh, and they gonna have to get. Oh, they gotta get. Um, oh, if you are missing your family member, they have a hotline for you. You can call one eight 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 three five one four zero two four. They will have operate uh, operators in English and Spanish to let you know where your people at. They will entertain. They ice. Oh, they they must got a large ice facility in Jenna, Louisiana. Okay. Um, Oh, wait a minute. Peco released a statement, y'all. Hold on. Peco said something. Peco said, we confirm the Department of Homeland Security was on the site at three of our facilities in Mississippi. Oh, Peco, they hit y'all hard. Three facilities in Mississippi this morning. They went to Bay Springs, Canton, and Sestapool. Uh, wait a minute. S-E-B-A-S-T-O-P-O-L. We are fully cooperating with the authorities in their investigation and are navigating a potential disruption of op uh, navigating a potential disruption of operations. Okay, um, they said that we adhere strongly to all local, state, federal laws, including utilizing the government-based e-verify program which screens new hires through social security administration as well as department of homeland security for compliance peco say we doing a, we 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 doing the right thing we had everything in place we are going to follow the rules and laws peco says it strives to be a competitive producer of quality products maintaining respectful ethical and transparent business relationship with all stakeholders because they about nervous right now Peco. your stakeholders is, is, is kind of nervous they nervous we praying for you we're gonna pray for them y'all as such we take all work stoppage seriously you hear that all work stoppage so ain't no work going on it done stopped the whole plan Three plants they got at PECO, okay? Uh, and actively taking appropriate measures to best serve our team members and customer needs, okay? Jackson Mayor also released a statement calling for faith institutions to become faith ha safe havens for those in the country illegally. So the Jackson Mayor, what's his name? Jacob, what, who? Jacoby, Jacoby? Antar Lumbamba said that he wants the churches. I always gotta call me doing my live feed. He wants the churches to become safe havens for those in the country. Elite. What? You want the churches to take the illegal immigrants and hide them? Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. They ain't gonna do that now. 
What church is going to do that? The church is going to take the uh, immigrants and how they want the churches. He is calling for the churches to become safe havens for those in the country illegally. Lord have mercy. This is like the rapture. Um, the city of Jackson is firmly committed to promoting and securing uh, safe communities. Uphold the uh, canon of human rights for human beings. The ice rays are both dehumanizing and ineffective. Uh-oh, the mayor is mad. The mayor is mad that y'all done came to his, his city and is souping up people. He said that um, it's ineffective tactics as pro protecting citizens from potential harm. These rays will further alienate communities from law enforcement um, disrupt community policing efforts and cause law enforcement to forfeit credibility and trust among the people they swore to protect and serve. I, I'm calling upon faith institutions in our community to become sanctuaries for our immigrant neighbors and protect them from potential harm. The city of Jackson strongly objects to Trump's administration's ice ray. Y'all, the mayor is hot. The mayor is hot. The mayor said, leave him alone. He don't, dis he don't agree with Trump administration of the ice raids, and he wants the churches to take in the illegal immigrants. Like, put them in a safe haven. This operation is part of multiple ongoing criminal criminal investigations there you have it there you have it the mayor is mad the, the mayor is pissed he ain't mad he pissed he said y'all came through my city swooped up everybody can't nobody go to work tomorrow ain't nobody get no chicken Peco said they gonna fully investigate with the investigation they did everything right they downloaded the e-verification so they did everything. Uh, Cook, we haven't heard from Cook. Cook, out, Cook don't have nothing to say right now. Okay? We haven't heard a statement from Cook as of yet. Okay? So let me see if anything else they got going on. ISIS raid. They, Mississippi done made the first child. Look, they got... Let me show y'all the video. Hold on. I'm going to post it on my page. But let me show y'all this video. Uh, it's ongoing uh, search, so I can't specify or disclose what we're looking for. That's them up there at Kent. They up there at Kent. How long have you guys been out here for? We've been out here uh, about an hour and a half so far. And uh, we've been doing some more hours. And it's just one of several sites in the state. Talk to me about that. He said, we ain't got nothing else to say. We come here, we're going to swoop up some people, and we're going to talk about it at the uh, center, okay? We're going to figure out what's going on at the center. Oh, it's going to be a whole lot of people going down, y'all. It's going to be a whole lot of folks. And then the mayor is, I can't believe the mayor is telling people to hide folks, make it a safe haven. He said to hide people. He told the churches to hide the illegal people. This is like, is this like a uh, Holocaust type thing? No, is that? No, it ain't no. Somebody go, had, at home, glad they called. I know that's a real down there. I know they looking like, oh, I'm glad I ain't going there today. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be crazy. ISIS raids Mississippi. I want to see what Cook say. Cook say they been following. I don't know what. what why in the world? Why would you have so many? Why would you have so many um, people to come and raid a place if they doing everything right? That just don't make no sense. Now on, um, now he did. Now Trump did say, okay, 
Trump said that he gave him a warning. He gave him a warning four weeks ago. According to CNN, I guess they wasn't watching. Trump said ICE to begin. ISIS is to begin a nationwide immigration raid on Sunday. Okay, so he told them. He told them four weeks ago. He told them four weeks ago that they was coming. And I guess they didn't watch CNN. Because here it is right here. He said plans to conduct raids, then delay operations to public. He said they was coming through. And I guess nobody... ISIS had planned to arrest and deport families okay and 10 cities oh he told y'all oh he gave y'all a heads notice he told folks four weeks ago he was coming and y'all see it with the word i guess y'all thought i guess they thought he wasn't talking about them i don't know what to say y'all i just don't know what to say i j i'm just worried about not only am I worried about the families because they say that it's not nice in those detention camps and you know they don't treat the the um the kids but Matthew good that they they are breaking the law but Matthew I mean it's innocent kids involved now you got to have some kind of um consideration about these people have families you know there's elderly there's kids and all that kind of stuff you know and people just trying to have gainful employment and feed their families and stuff like that so you got to have some kind of compassion all right you got to have some kind of compassion eric they just want to come over and live the uh, uh american uh dream is that what that what he will say without the uh <laughs> yeah they just want to come over and and people would would die and risk their lives to come to America and work in these chicken factories, you know? We don't even want to work in the chicken factories, okay? I mean, the place stinks. And probably the pay ain't good. So it's probably hard. They ain't going to find nobody to, uh, they not going to find anybody to refill those jobs. I'm telling you right now. People be like, oh, uh-uh, I'm not doing it. Have you ever been to a chicken plant? Y'all ever been to Cook? Y'all ever been to, uh, Peco? out there to the chicken plant y'all ever see how um bad it smells out there and what they do out there believe you me if you go out there you ain't gonna never want to go again i'm telling you right now you ain't gonna never want to go again that's the most horrible smell you could ever smell um wait until canada and mexico be like uh-uh where they gonna go people probably don't have no money they can't hide out. Now they don't have no job. They can't pay no bills. So they're going to either have to turn themselves in or what? Come to the border and seek asylum. I don't know what they're going to do. In Mississippi, where you go? Where you, now you don't have no job. You ain't going to have a place to stay. You'll work at the plant. They're not paying no $30 an hour. You know they ain't paying no $30 an hour going to the chicken send me back to africa for i know that down there if you're a truck driver and you ever been out to the to chicken plants baby it, it takes some strong people to be out there smelling that all day okay i ain't mad at them i'm happy they work it because it's a lot of us that won't even be out there now uh-uh chicken plant uh-uh can't do it i have to find something else to do but it stink out there they dealing with that all day every day and they done hit plants all over Mississippi. Y'all, it's going to be a change. And, it, and, and it's some things that's going to be affected. But the thing that I want to see is what they decide to do when they find out that these people were over here illegally. How are they going to hold the companies? Um, how are they going to hold the companies responsible? I'm waiting on Cook to make a statement. We're going to have to wait and see what he say. But other than that, y'all, I'll post the uh, video on the link in the description box. But I just wanted to come and uh, let y'all know about it, read up on it. And, you know, if you, you, you got any friends that ain't supposed to be over here, you better, you better tell them to watch out. They coming. All right. Peace, love, joy, and happiness. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.